Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video I'm going to be talking about how I got into teaching, the roots of it in the UK and maybe answering some of your questions. So um, I originally, I mean, just like a brief background, I graduated in a BA Honours from UCL um, in education and then I did went on to doing my PSET which I'll talk about um, and then I got my job I landed a job in a college and now I work at a university um, as a lecturer so I'll talk about how I um, got to that stage so as you can see in the title of the video please make sure you subscribe um, and today I'll be talking about roots into teaching and how to get yourself into teaching so when I first started off teaching, like when I first like, went on my journey, like I want to become a teacher, I was working a local government job. I was doing a nine to five, Monday, Monday to Friday. And I just felt like I wanted more. I wanted to do more. I wanted to have an impact and I wanted to motivate and inspire um, people. And so many of my friends even like family said that I should get into teaching and I was just like oh like I used to always like think oh it must be so much work controlling students um and I was just so like oh I don't think it's for me and one day I just thought you know what let me try it out so I was researching and at that time I didn't have a GCSE in maths and it's crucial that you need to have a maths and English GCSE a C grade um in maths so maths and English um so at that time I didn't have my GCSE so I got into university without having a maths GCSE like I kind of slacked in that area so I had to go back to college as an adult learner and gain that GCSE in English in maths um so that was quite a journey for me but I'll talk about that in another video so when I was researching on YouTube, I only saw like videos of content creators creating something about PGC pathways for primary and secondary. And I've always wondered, like I knew that I couldn't get into primary or, or secondary education because of my qualifications, not having a C in maths, um, because that was one of their ma main criterias. And I knew that I couldn't get into it. So I just thought, I want to get into teaching, but what other routes are there? So then I came across the education and training website, which is a website which talks about further education and how to get into it and all of that. And I've always wondered, how did my college teacher like get a, get the job that he got? Like I always wondered, and I thought it was through the PGC route, but um, there are other ways to get into teaching instead of having the PGC. So the first route is you do a PGC, you go do the QTS, which is two years training NQT, and then you're qualified in the UK as a teacher. Um, and then you can like go one further on to any, any uh, sector that you want to work in teaching. Um, and then there's a second route, which is a level five, um, colleges usually allow this um, so if you apply to a college and you don't have a level 5 or PGC qualification they usually provide it um, free of cost in London I'm not too sure about any surrounding other cities um, and they provide it with no cost and they train you and they teach you they make you teach on the go so it's like experience and placement at the same time and academic um, academic work so academic and experience at the same time so it's really really effective and also there is also called the PSET route which is the PCET route which is what I chose to do so like I said I left my 95 job um, at the local government and I decided I wanted to do something more so I researched and I found the pathway of PSET now PSET is basically you're qualified to teach 16 to 18 year olds but you can teach adults as well so um i'll just talk about from my notes that i've written um so uh the roots to teaching in fe um so the education and training foundation website is such a good website to use especially if you want to get into or just understand or read about you know further education in the in that sector and it has so many um, good like links that provide you information and so on and so forth. 
Um, so in the further education sector, there are about three pathways. I went through the vocational way um, and I'll explain that later on. So there's vocational, academic and finally maths, English, ESOL and SEN, which is one. So the vocational pathway is basically for anyone that wants to do plumbing, hairdressing, um, health and social care, um, childcare. So my background, what I did for when I was in college was I did a BTEC in health and social care. So I had a BTEC GCSE, health and social care and level two, and I had a level three in health and social care. So that was the route that I wanted to take because I enjoyed health and social care when I was in college and my family are from a health and social care background. Uh, my siblings are doctors and nurses. So that really, um, like seeing them and like, you know, hearing their stories and so on and so forth, forth getting their advice. Um, I come from a health and social care background. Um, so I wanted to teach that in the end. So, excuse my mum yelling in the background. Um, so anyways, so that's what I chose in the end to specialise in health and social care. But um, the vocational route is basically for anyone that wants to do um, art and design, anyone that wants to do hairdressing, plumbing um, and so on and so forth. But you need a level three qualification and above. So level three meaning an A-level qualification or a level three qualification and above in order for you to teach that. Um, the academic route is an, an academic pathway through a PSET is basically having a degree. So my degree is in education studies. If my degree, let's say, was in history or, um, yeah, let's say history and I wanted to teach history, then I am able to teach history because I've got a degree in it as well. So if you've got what I've realised in the PSET pathway towards becoming a teacher in the UK is that you need to have a level three or above in order to teach a specific qualification. So let's say I had a level three in childcare and I wanted to do hairdressing. I have to show proof of qualification that I've got, even though I might have experience, I need to show qualifications that I've got a hairdressing qualification in level three in order for me to teach that. Um, some areas, some subjects are quite, quite competitive. So please do check with the university before applying. Um, so the second pathway is the academic way. Like I said, you need to have a degree in order for you to teach that pathway. And the third pathway is the maths, English, ESO and SEN pathway. Um, so that is more for individuals that want to specialise in that. And you've got a degree in that Um or you've got a degree in, you know, English or maths, um, you know, they're, they're, they are very competitive, um, those places. Um, and a lot of, when I was doing my PGC, my well, PSET, I found a lot of students, a lot of my colleagues were doing that already. So it was quite competitive. Um, so please do check with your university provider. Um, so why I decided to become a teacher, I think because... I wanted to have more, I just wanted to do more. I didn't want to sit on a desk 95, reading emails and going visiting schools. Like I wanted to do something more. And it was just a career that I chose on a whim. And like two years later, I'm like, I love it. I, you know, want to improvise on my pedagogy and I want to do a master's. Like there's so many routes to teaching. You don't have to be a teacher. You can do so much more. Um, and yeah, I really, really have enjoyed teaching. So there are bursaries available if you decide to do teaching, especially in the PSET. And it's not really spoken about a lot um, about the bursaries that are available. Because I did specialise in health and social care, I didn't have a bursary available to me, um, which was difficult because I was working at the same time. Um, so it was really difficult actually um, getting a bursary if you're looking to do childcare or health and social care pathways. Um, but there are bursaries available for teachers who specialise in math, science, engineering, computing, um, math, science, engineering, computing, and that is about £26,000. So during the year that you're studying your PSET, you get £26,000, which you know, you divide that by 12 and that's what you will get during the course. 
um if you leave the course early um and you're just there for the money you have to pay it back <laughs> so please make sure you're there and you're 100% dedicated because it's a lot of it's a lot of stress and it builds you it builds your character and it builds your prof professionalism i can't talk today um our other bursaries are for sen so you know special educational needs if you want to specialize in that you get 15k so 15000 pound grant um bursary um english as well that's 12000 pounds um and like i said you need to have a level 3 qualification in or, or above in order to teach these special topics um i remember when i was doing my pset at uvl um it was you know there was only one person doing computer science and um a lot of people doing um a lot of vocational topics like art and design um they were doing um health and social care um sports science um and yeah child care so that was like my year intake group but i can talk about that in another video um there's also grants that are available from employers so your employers can pay for it um but please do check the education and training foundation website it's really really good so and really really helpful it really helped me um so i don't know if you know this but nqt so newly qualified teacher status is what you need to do it's like a probation period that all teachers have to go through um in order to be a qualified teacher um in the uk so i believe in primary and secondary schools if you graduate your pgce and um, once you do that you have you have a two-year um two-year nqt induction where you have to do your um uh, two-year i think two-year like I've lost the words um the two year um god <laughs> i've lost the words the two year um induction sort of thing where it's like an nqt induction for you to um achieve um newly qualified teacher status and after that you can work anywhere uh, or you can even work abroad wherever there is there's lots and lots of options um in terms of post 16 education which is the p set um you can so the way that my university so i did it at U university of east london and the way that they did it was that we throughout the year we did like a example of what it means to do your qts um so qtls so so there's QTS in primary and secondary, which means qualified teacher status. But in a post-16 sector, it's QTLS. So qualified, te Q qualified teaching learning status. Um, so in order for you to get QTLS, you need to have a maths and you need to have, you need to have an English GCSE in C. Um, and you need to make sure you have about six months to do your um qtls and once you do that you're reviewed by your men mentor and whoever is supervising you and then you are awarded qtls <clears throat> in the post 16 sector it's not uncommon to not have a qtls so it's not required so if you want to do a qtls you can but you're still regarded as a teacher without with or without a qtls so at the moment i don't have a qtls um because i've just <laughs> i've i've i thought that i'd teach for a bit get my pedagogy get my theories you know get more experience in a classroom and then later on i will get my qtls um but it's not it's not necessarily needed but you can get it and that's what i liked about the qt the you know post 16 sector that it's it's not required but if you do amazing if you don't then you know you still have a job um whereas, whereas i believe that when you're in primary and secondary you do need to have a qts and it will be awarded with you and um, once you complete the pgce um with the university um originally i wanted to do my pset um at ucl but covid hit and most of the lecturers were of mature um age so they wanted to keep their lecturers safe so then i opted up to doing it at university of east london 
my overall experience was really really good i really enjoyed the course so if you ever want to get into the PSET or PTC sector really recommend the university of east london their education department is outstanding um so yeah th that was the reason why i went to you UEL instead of UCL but it doesn't matter to be honest so like I said it doesn't matter where you get your PGC or PSET from um what university provider because that is overlooked when you are employed um as a teacher as long as you have that qualification that is really really important um but other than that please make sure that the university provider provides you with QTLS unfortunately with my university I didn't have a maths GCSE at that time so they didn't offer me the qtls straight after or i couldn't apply for it the application um so do check with the course leader before you apply um but it's up to you if you like i said want to get a qtls or QT, a qtls or not it's not really recommended in the further education sector but with that you can go on to working with adults 16 year olds 16 to 18 year olds um I know like through my previous and um, personal experience when I first started up teaching um, I was working with level three health and social care year ones and then I got a job in Nottingham and I moved out of the city I moved out of London um, and I was working with level so I was working with level one level two level and pre-access into nursing so I was working with adults as well as um, a 15 year old in a in an entry free class so i did really really well I worked with a wide range and diverse mixture of learners um and i got that experience and then on a whim i just decided to apply at university and then i got the job and you know i you know my my main goal was when i did my PSET was to get into university and teach because a money is amazing b um you know you have that more it's you don't need to deal with behavior because when you're working with 16 year olds to 18 year olds there's a lot of attitude there's a lot of problems there's a lot of like behavior um and i can handle a class when there's behavior but i just felt like i just didn't want to babysit any longer and i wanted to progress in my learning and my career so that's why i ended up working in the, um, a university but you might even enjoy working in a college and there's so many college lecturing jobs available in cities especially in london um and i will talk about like contracts in another video but um there are so many roles um available the only thing is that at universities um it's very sparse um to get a job especially if you don't have a master's so for example i don't have a master's but i'm working towards a master's um and i'm planning to do that in education and leadership and hopefully it's going to be at ucl so in another video i'll talk about my journey but thank you so much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram as well and leave your comments down in the comments below, any questions, and I'll respond to them. And yeah, thank you so much. Bye-bye.